Bay here, and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay. And look what I found! Finally, I was able to get the Ghoul Spirit six pack of Monster High dolls. I'm super excited because I, for whatever reason, I just cannot get Torlai in the original. But while I'm searching, at least I got her as part of the Wolf Pack now. I'm so freaking excited and so glad to unbox this Mega Pack with you. This Mega Pack comes with, as you can see, our lovely Deuce. We've got Claudine Wolf. We've got Cleo Denial. We've got Draculaura. We've got Frankie Stein. And we have Toralai, one who I haven't had an opportunity to kind of go through with you all yet. So I'm really excited about getting this pack. I did find it at Walmart. It was for $125. Yeah, it's a little steep price point, but think about it. You're getting six dolls, six major characters in different outfits. So, although I'm a girl that will always say, I don't like buying duplicate dolls. I don't know, Monster High is making it so hard for me to stay away from the duplicates. Oh, they're gonna have to be like twins and triplets in a minute, okay? But first, I mean, let's get into this, this pack. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. And let me show you a little bit of the artwork on it. It's not too much that we haven't seen before, pretty much. You've got your ghoul spirit down here with three young ladies of, who is that? Draculaura, Claudine, and Frankie on the back such a large package guys on the back of the box you've got um just some artwork of the dolls again all six of the dolls at in front of Monster high it says we've got ghoul spirit now how about you this is an amazing pack i wanted it it was some people got it early i was not one of those people that was able to get it early and then walmart i think they only they're selling this pack exclusively only to walmart so it just, I had to wait till I actually could find it in the store. Online, it's just hard to find. But let me open it. Let's get into it. Let's start talking about it. Okay, so now that we've gotten our dolls out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look exactly at what we get. And I'm, I am absolutely pleasantly surprised. Just a really quick reminder before we get into it, the dolls do not come with doll stands. These are doll stands that are mine. But I'm going to make sure that we show um, use them today so that we can highlight our gorgeous Monster High dolls. So I'm going to show you what comes with each of the um, Ghoul Spirit dolls. And as always, I love to start with my boy Deuce. And in the previous um, Deuce, I wasn't really happy. I have, this is my third one. The first being, you know, the G3 doll. Then the second one that came in the pack with Frankie. Um, he looks the same every time, except for this time, as you can see, he has the black, like, I guess he's the football player, possibly, of the Spirit Squad. He's got the black underneath his um, eyes, um, that, or he could just be, that's his spirit look, right? Um, he does have on white tennis shoes with the snakes on the side. I do like these. These are really cute. On Deucey, trying to focus so you can kind of see that. Um, on the bottom has snakes as well. I love how Monster High pays attention to detail. So I always try to let you all see it as well. Deuce's skin is still that light shade of, I call it avocado green. Okay. He's got on these lovely um, shorts. I do like the shorts on Deuce. I love the snake on one side and the stripes, black stripes um, over the green. You know, Velcros. And then he has on what I thought would possibly, I don't know what I want to call this, like, because at first it kind of reminds me of a varsity jacket, but it's like a varsity shirt. I want to call it so it's got the monster high it's green and purple um it has the snake skin um faux snake skin you know it's not real snake skin but you know that whole look of deuce with the snakes there again he has his snakes all over to the side the, you know they're molded um and he has like that impression on his um other side i wish they could have flocked it i think that would have been kind of cool it'd be kind of cool for them to do something different with deuce you know like his his does he look different in any other type of way like in the can you do the mohawk like he did last time or just something different so that you know he uh has some originality to him and got, doesn't kind of make every deuce look the exact same just with different clothes on but i absolutely love this so he's got on his outfit and what deuce came with with looks like um it's like a face mask. I don't know why. Like first it was the apron. And I wasn't like all that 100%. Because what guys like 
wear face masks. So this is what it would look like. This is how they did douche y'all. I rather the girls have wore something like that. Um, it would look, you know, a little bit more cuter. But I don't know. That's just me, my preference. Don't get mad and don't get in my comments talking about, you know, oh, anybody could wear it. Absolutely. I just don't think it looks cute on him. Like, it's not, it's not flattering to him. I don't know if it would be flattering to anyone. Maybe if it was like a hat or maybe I'll let him wear it like this so you can still see his face so you'll know it's like a mask. Or maybe if the eyes were like not black and cut out so you can tell it was a mask. It's something ain't zhuzhing, right? But it's okay. Um, he still looks amazing. And for the price point, remember the price point for all $6 is $125. And if you divide 6 into $125, you got a good deal. That's exactly what it comes out to. So there's our deuce. Next up, I have Frankie, and I am absolutely pleasantly surprised. Now, let me say what I want them to do with Deuce. They are definitely doing it with Frankie. And as you can see, Frankie looks different every time. Like, I am loving this shorter hair, okay? She's not flocked because it's still plastic on this side right here, but she's got that whole shave thing going. She's got blue now in the bottom of the hair. She's got this, um, the, the, ugh. the shaved part is purple. I am absolutely loving her face looks gorgeous let's get into that I like this like they really gave Frankie something a little different um what she has on let's start at the bottom she's got on like these jelly boots I want to call them I call them jelly boots because they're kind of see-through they're really cute I like these monster high boots but I always love monster high shoes anyway um and so what they gave her was like this um I thought it was two pieces and it might be hold on it is oh yay so she's got on, uh, you know, like this prep um, skirt, you know, so I love the fact that she's got on this prep skirt with the little green going around a pleated skirt. And then she's got like her, her, um, which I would call like a pullover. It says Monster High on it. It's um, blue with some lightning bolts. And then you've got these sleeves that are purple with black stripes. Really cute. I mean, I, I do like the ensemble. I love it. And I just love her hair. Do you guys like her hair? I absolutely love this little short cut on Frankie. So I I love the fact. And then she also comes with this number one. We're number one. Isn't that cute? We're number one. So in the, fest, in the festive time of, you know, getting into the holiday. And I just love this for her. I love Frankie. Um, I love... The outfit I love the hair and I love how they keep giving us Frankie in very different um, poses and looks and outfits her hair was longer it was down the part in the first one I love what they're doing with Frankie and I wish they would continue to do it with all the dolls like give them a different haircut a different style a different something you know Monster High was really really creative um, back in the day with the other generation one dolls and how those dolls you know, along the line in different sets, they did start to look a little different or had different hairdos or something like that. So you don't get just bored and just say, oh, I can't, I've got the same doll like 25 times, right? Okay, but moving on, that's my rant. Then we have beautiful Jackie Laura. Love, love, love. Okay, so Jackie Laura, very cute. I love that Jackie Laura is a curvy girl. Look at her curviness. Isn't she gorgeous? Absolutely. Two, four, six, eight. All those girls, we all we, we all want to eat. We all want to snack. Dracula Laura says she's no different. Um, let's get her arm corrected here. Okay, thank you, Dracula Laura. So as you can see, Dracula Laura has these really cute black and pink and white sneakers. So they're all you know together, mold, molded together. No difference in the socks or anything like that. She's got her cheerleader outfit on, so definitely she is on the cheer squad. Come on, Dracula Laura. She's got a cute little bowl. I want to show you that's a bat. Isn't that cute? She's got her hair back, and you actually get to see how pointy those ears are, which is something that they don't, don't really highlight on Jackie Laura, you know, as her ears and her hair being back. You always see it's covered. So I love the fact that they uncovered Jackie Laura for this. What I would have liked to see different, mm, not plastic pom-poms, right? Because as soon as you take these off from what the, and I kept the tape on them because, or the band-aid, I'm not band-aids, but the rubber bands on them because if I take it off, it's definitely gonna fall. Like they're kind of heavy. So I wish they would have just did some plastic little, you know, a little plastic 
um, that make, you could make into a pom-pom. And you possibly could make your own if you wanted to. But I just wish that that's the only thing they could have done for this was not give us these heavy plastic pom-poms. Like, they don't even look like pom-poms. They really like mittens. Because at first I was like, why she got mittens? But those aren't mittens. Those are pom-poms. So, yeah. Cute. But um, could they have done that a little differently? Absolutely. But still, Draculaure is winning, 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 winning. Very, very cute. Okay, so now we have our girl Claudine Wolf. Okay, so Claudine came with the basketball, and I love the fact that she can hold it. I'm gonna sit it down. It does bounce. Look at that, guys. I don't want it to roll away too far. Um, so Claudine has on a pair of sneakers. They have crescent moons on them. And then she's got actually black socks. What looks like, you know, they're supposed to be socks, but they're like, see how that does that? But it gives you the illusion that she has on socks. Very cute. She has on her little knee pad. It's plastic, just so you know. She's got her shorts. Her um, She's definitely playing ball. Definitely going to be the star of the show. She's got her cute outfit on to play. And she also has fur. So she had to woof it up some type of way. So she's got her fur on the sleeves. She's got a nice little cute headband on. And look at her earrings. Isn't that cute? Love how they did that. Give her some black little earrings. She looks very pretty in the face. Her hair is very long, but this is how it comes out of the box. Right. You can go ahead and say it. We can say it together. A hot mess. This looks like if you, if I undo this, if I try to, cur okay, let me try it. Okay. So I tried to like comb it out, brush it out, y'all. This is like a sand, this is like a patch of old dog hair. If I've ever seen one. Not very happy with the hair, okay? I think they could have did a better job with this. I don't know what type of hair they're using for Claudine. I want y'all to go back to the drawing board, people at um, Mattel, and I would like for you to give us the same quality of hair you was giving us for all those years when Monster High first came out because we're not, we're not very pleased with this, you know, monstrosity that we're getting. Um, I don't even know if a hot water boil is going to work it out but I'm going to try it and then I'm going to show you all how it came out but the doll no less is absolutely gorgeous and for the price point you know we can deal with it we can maybe split the ends maybe maybe we'll curl it I don't know but I, I we got a fixer we can't let our girl walk around here with puppy hair right like a whole puppy German Shepherd at the back okay so she also comes with this really cute pair of glasses I call them my like guard glasses, but they're so cute on her, right? Look at the, oh, look at Claudine, so cute. See, and that's why you, you have to make sure, like if you're gonna have a doll with this amount of hair that you're trying to do, you can't give us, you know, for $125, we're gonna want some good quality. Um, even though it's $125 and we're getting six dolls, we don't want six dolls that we're gonna have to zhuzh up all the time and put more money into and make look Better. We want $125 worth of good product. That's all I'm saying. And I'm not saying this is bad product. I'm just saying I wish Claudine's hair didn't look like um, a puppy. Okay? Not a puppy, but a mangy puppy in the back that hasn't been washed or walked. Okay. But on to our next doll. So now we have our beautiful Cleo. And Cleo has always been one of my favorite girls. She, I think she's probably like a little bit of me. <laughs> oh my raw. Yeah, so Cleo is looking absolutely fabulous. She comes with this really cute little hand flag because she said, hey, I'm not going to put that hand thing on, but I will wave for the team, okay? So we have beautiful Cleo Denial. Her hair looks absolutely amazing. I hate when they put tinsel in it, but it kind of does a little something for her. It's bringing out that gold. So, you know, I won't try to pluck all of it out, but I have in past. Um, I love that she's got her monster high headband on. Isn't that cute? So let's look at Cleo from bottom to top. So our girl Cleo has these wonderful um, sandals on. Very, very cute. She still has that molded wrapped leg, as you can see. She has on a really cute monster high. It says number 13, monster high, um, sparkly um, dress or I would like to call like a jersey dress, right? The back of it is not the same, it's just yellow. And then she's got this really cute um, jacket on with, I love the fact that the sleeves are like that organza puff. I call it organza puff. Um, 
And then she's got, you know, her high hieroglyphics. It's very, very cute. Very cute ensemble that she has. There's her face paint and her earrings. Again, she's got that tinsel in the back of her hair. She looks absolutely amazing. I like this Cleo. And she looks a little different from her original Cleo that I have. So I'm very, very pleased with that. They did give her a little switcheroo, a little switch up here. And I'm pleasantly surprised. So this is Cleo in the six pack. And I have no complaints. Okay. So they did a good job. Somebody in the Cleo department was working hard. And they was like, let's get our girl together. Last but not least, the one that I have not had. And now that I'm looking at this doll. I don't know. Torilai, um was always one of my very favorites. And so she was always so sassy looking and, um, you know, just gave us that pizzazz, um, you know. And so now to see her as a Generation 3 doll and she, maybe I have to look at the original one. So this one is okay. Torla looks okay. Um, I don't, I think she's a cheerleader as well. Maybe for the other team, I'm not too sure. Um, but she's got these really cute sneakers on. Okay, so they are, Oh, I like her sneakers. I really do. Look at the back of those. Super cute sneakers. She's got yellow, kind of like supposed to be socks on with it. She has her megaphone because she's going to yell it out and yell it proud. I love, I do love her beautiful um, cheerleading outfit. It's a two-piece. I love her collar. Let me get in closer. She was, she's got a cute little collar on. And I love her little um, widow's peak here. Because I think Claudine is a werecat, if I'm not mistaken. You see, she has her tail. She's got her megaphone. She's absolutely stunning as far as Torali can go in this line. Um, I still like the first type of Torali. There's something about this doll's face that's different to me. I don't know. Get into the face a little bit. What do you think? I mean, she's a cute doll. It's just, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. Um, but I'm still going to try to get the first wave, oh, I dropped it, the first wave one, because I do want to have the original, and maybe that Torali looks a little different than this one. I'm not complaining, because I have Torali now, but, um, just kind of like, hmm, you know, it's okay. So what are your thoughts? What do you think? Um, are you in love and obsessed with this line? I think that I did great for having a doll that is, um, having six dolls. Um, at that price point, I think would this be a wonderful toy for your kids and your grandchildren? Absolutely. I think this is something that um, is a great, if you don't want to have to buy individually and you want to get it all wrapped in one, head on down to Walmart, uh, to your local Walmart. And for $125, you could be the best grandparent, mama, daddy, whoever it is of the century on Christmas Day. Because this doll pack will not disappoint. The clothes are not a really good quality. The shoes are good quality. I, I just think everything except for Claudine's hair looking like a puppy um, was absolutely on point. So I'm going to give this pack right here a good old 8 out of 10. And the only reason why I'm taking two points off is because, one, it doesn't have a what? A doll stand, nor did it come with anything to comb their hair with. And I see why looking at Claudine's. And number two, what they did to Claudine's hair. I'm taking two points away. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Have a wonderful and a magical evening. And please, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to like it. And go ahead and leave a comment. Po positive vibes only. Now, don't forget, once I hit a 1,000 subscribers, I'm starting to do giveaways. Hey, who knows? One of this, this could be yours, okay? So go ahead, share my um, channel. Make sure you let people know, subscribe, subscribe. Let's start giving some stuff away. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.